Okay, so um, thank you very much. This is uh, another project um, financed by the Volkswagen Stiftung in the same um, in the same uh, call, Mixed Methods in Humanities, and uh, in fact uh, conducted also in Hamburg. Uh, and uh, you see here just part of the team. In fact, the team was even bigger, and I will explain why. Next, uh, next slide, please. So um, we uh, are working on a complete different corpus of the previous talk. It's an historical corpus and we are working with uh, Latin uh, manuscripts and historical translations of them from the uh, early 18th century. And um, uh, here um, I can make a small connection with the invited talk because I was very happy to hear about uh, reliability and uh, the fact that uh, with historical sources, we work with approximation representation of the past. And in fact, we have a kind of cascaded uh, approximation representation of the past because in our case, for example, uh, this author was a kind of reference uh, quotation and a kind of ground truth in the 19th century, but he was relying also in his writings on things that were written bef before him. And uh, so um, what we want to do is to check, in fact, how reliable are his um, writings and um, if uh, the persons who is uh, quoting, I mean, the facts he's quoting are, let's say, at least uh, correct quoted uh, according to the source. Uh, so no, if it is correct what he's saying, but if it's quoting correctly from the source and also to see how the translations affected um, the um, this reliability. Uh, you will say, okay, we have two texts, in fact, History of Ottoman Empire and the other text about Moldavian history. Uh, why uh, do we have to use computer? Well, um, the, the main uh, humanities field is Ottoman uh, studies. This is a kind of quite narrow field, but uh, it spreads out a large time period and a large geographical zone. So one researcher in Ottoman studies, it's impossible to cover documents in all languages from the um, entire uh, Ottoman Empire uh, to understand and know very deep history of uh, all these regions in order to see if uh, um, to, to check this reliability. Uh, also, we want to see if it is um, the texts are consistent, uh, let's say, um, on facts in one text and uh, the other one, also among translations. And a broader um, research idea was to gain new insights in the life of this author, which for the Ottoman studies, it's quite um, important. Um, next slide, please. So um, the proposed solution, first, you cannot really go with, um, let's say, a modern NLP tool and uh, check where uh, the quotation are inserted, because the quotation at that time were done in a completely different way. Uh, so uh, there is a kind of, uh, let's say, humanities approach. Um, the, our colleague uh, detected quoted sources and um, extract events which were quoted by the author and went in Istanbul in archives in the Patriarchate, for example, and tried to see proofs of persons who this author may have uh, met. Um, because uh, a lot of uh, quotation are like quite oral transmissions. He said that somebody told him that so and so. And on the computer science side, um, we um, said that we will uh, detect and annotate linguistic vagueness because the text is full of, it was said, it is supposed, I cannot uh, dare to um, say if this is true and so on and so forth and develop a knowledge base, an ontology containing persons, places, events, concepts related to the period. Uh, so we start with the grounding of Ottoman Empire and end in um, uh, early uh, 18th century. And um, the, the fact is that we don't want to have this uh, ontology like a kind of ground truth. We want to insert inside all the facts uh, for all the uh, all the concepts described there, also the sources from where we have them. 
And uh, so we have definitely to uh, have uh, vague quantifiers for time, geographical positions, quantities. Uh, we have to describe vague concepts. And the idea at the end is that um, we want to qu query and visualize the results and present a kind of list of possible interpretations. And the interpretation is not on the computer side, but on the uh, researcher in humanities side. So it's, uh, it's just uh, uh, presentations of possible solutions and the researcher has to interpret. Next slide, please. Um, so in a way, our approach, uh, we can, um, we can um, 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 divide in a part of modeling, a part of um, detection and the visualization. And um, in fact, I would like to concentrate here on the modeling part in the way how we develop the knowledge base um, and uh, which were the challenges and the, um, the um, let's say, uh, interesting aspects of the uh, collaboration. So the ontology is uh, quite uh, big uh, and um, it is, um, on one hand, uh, it was done always, next slide please, it was done in um, uh, cooperation, in, in very, very tight cooperation between uh, myself as computer scientist and my colleague uh, Alto Gune, who is a researcher in Ottoman studies. And um, this was um, uh, uh, quite, um, so for example, you see here just a very um, uh, small screenshot of some cities we have in the ontology. Um, it is, we have um, some 700 concepts and thousands of instances from for the moment. And uh, so, I mean, to let a, a humanist to develop this, this can work with this kind of tool, which is Protégé, but go on the next slide. And uh, on the next slide, I just represented you how we model, for example, a vague concept, which is a pilgrim place. A pilgrim place, uh, which is dependent of uh, sources and information about the number of visitors to a certain place. And uh, you see that the, the representation behind, it's a, a kind of XML, I mean, it's OWL uh, in XML uh, format. And, um, for a, a, human, a, a humanist researcher. This is uh, to write this kind down, it's quite difficult. So it will be nice to have a, a kind of tool of um, graphical, let's say of, um, uh, of tool on just clicking something and generate the code behind. Well, go on next slide, please. Well, and here I, I'd like to have some discussions about the collaboration experience. Um, it was very difficult to selection the relevant information because um, we cannot make a, a, a huge ontology. We have to concentrate some places, but to discuss this with the humanist researcher. So he was trying to tell me, tell me, tell me stories and you have to decide somewhere where, where to cut and say, okay, for example, for this person, we um, cut uh, the information about uh, his family on very narrow, let's say, um, relatives and so on. Um, the problem with the vagueness features, this was a real problem because there is no reliable graphical user interface. So we arrived at the fact that he was writing me in comments where there is some vagueness and I was going and modeling the, um, um, let's say um, with uh, OWL and writing the code. Um, there is, there was a real problem with the concurrent work on ontology because the Protégé client accepts very, very um, uh, fine uh, refinements of the concepts and it is quite easy to use by a humanist. The web interface, it's not so, the web, um, yes, the web interface, it's not so uh, easy to use and it's different from the client. So you cannot put a humanist in such two different conditions. Um, the positive effects of the work, although it was quite, quite difficult and it took us more time than in fact we plan, 
it was that uh, it is um, in the um, in the Ottoman studies. He finished now a PhD, and he was telling me all the time, then checking and trying to formalize all these uh, concepts for the ontology. Christina, you've got yes, half a yes. minute. Half yes, a, minute. a much uh, deep, broader uh, view on this. Next slide. Um, so, uh, the conclusions and recommendations. I am a computer scientist and still we had uh, problems of understanding how to use uh, these tools and sometimes I really thought I have to understand it. I don't have to ask people who develop the tools, but the fact is you need a very close cooperation because uh, we had, uh, and I will finish with this, we had a um, uh, very nice um, conference in summer and we contacted and have invited the developer of all this protege and uh, fuzzy reasoning and they were uh, surprised about the complexity of the humanities data and gave uh, and, and said that in fact there are problems which they didn't thought about. Uh, okay, the rest is in the slides, thank you.